gonna stay on. That's a freaking toad. That's a tank. Woo! This is an even bigger fish, guys. This fish is even bigger than that last one. Oh yeah, this is even bigger. What a freaking tank of a fish. Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. Today we're gonna be headed out onto the water to throw the Flush 5.2 for the first time. And we're actually gonna get on some really nice fish in this one. So if you had fun hanging out with me out there on the water, subscribe to the channel, turn those notification bells on so you'll catch all my future content. Help us color in the bar back there on the subscriber board. Also, look at what I got. When we get done fishing, we're gonna come back here to the garage for a quick unboxing from Tackle Warehouse. So stick around to the end if you're interested in seeing that. But let's go ahead and head out onto the water and put the new Flush 5.2 to the test. I think you guys are gonna be pleasantly surprised. This one's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get into it. All right, we got a little wind-blown shoreline here. Wind pushing right up here onto this bank. Pretty steep little drop off, and then we have a a uh, creek arm right over here. I'm gonna start right here on this point, fish some of this brush, and then I'm gonna make my way to that creek arm, fish the mouth of that, and then we'll see uh, how it goes between now and then. But I'm gonna start off throwing this new flush 5.2 from Six Sense Fishing, soft plastic jerk bait, weightless. Let's see if we can find one eating. It's my first cast with this thing right here. I'm anxious to see what it looks like coming through the water. Oh yeah killer dude that looks great it looks great that thing has got some awesome erratic action that looks awesome it's just what i'm looking for in a soft plastic jerk bait right there i'm liking what i'm seeing so far hopefully this wind will get them fired up and eating i feel like we got a good chance of getting on some fish out here today we're just gonna have to find them. I'm gonna be running and gunning until I do. I'm just trying to use the wind to my advantage here to start out. And it's all pushing up onto this shoreline, so. See what's up. See if we can find one. There's one. He smashed it too. That didn't take long. Oh, he came off on me. Dang. I mean, he freaking smashed the, the flush. I almost said the whale. I got the whale tied on too. Man. Gosh, I really wanted that one, dude. They're eating. That didn't take long. He flew out of the water when he hit it too. He just came unbuckled on me. That was sick. He wanted it. He hit that thing like a freaking torpedo, dude. Bummer, bummer. He was hooked up for a minute. I got to fight him for a few. And then he jumped out of the water and shook it. Let's keep rolling. That was awesome to watch him come up and blast on it. The flush. Get some eating right when I get out here, dude. Dang. Missed him though. Still rolling with the skunk. That was fun. That was fun even though I didn't get him in the boat. It's good to see a reaction bite out here. It's been tough lately, man. That's why you guys haven't seen uh, too much on the water content here lately because it's just been tough. I haven't really been catching them enough to make a video, so. Hopefully we can get on them out here today, turn this into something. Throwing the new baits for the first time. We got bit already. Let's go. This thing looks awesome in the water. I mean, it's got some really good twitching going on down there. Pitching and twitching. One of my favorite ways to fish, soft plastic jerk bait. Super confidence bait for me, guys. Like if I can't get a bite all day, chances are I'm gonna pick up a fluke style bait and start throwing it. So I'm, I'm really excited for this flush. Got one bite there on it already. Just didn't, didn't land him, man. Didn't get him to the boat. Come on, stay on. That's a freaking toad. That's a freaking toad. Please stay on. That's a freaking tank, dudes. We got a tank hooked up on the whale, on the flush. We got a tank hooked up on the flush. <laughs> whale, flush, whatever it is. Get that. Get that, old son. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir, that's a tank. Whoo! The wind is your friend. It's a cold fish, too. This fish is cold. Look at that. That's a four pounder. Stoked, man. Nice. Flush tank. Yeah, that's a solid four pound fish right there. On that flush, I said whale when I was reeling it in. I'm out here throwing the flush and the whale today. That right there is a freaking tank, dude. Hard fighter too. Cold fish fired up and eaten. That was awesome. Over here in the wind, right off the shoreline. Boom. That's a freaking tank. Yes. Solid four. Fat and happy. That's a tank. Awesome, dude. That's the way to start the day right there, man. What an awesome first fish on that flush 5.2 from Six Sense Fishing, the new soft plastic jerk bait, straight tank mode out here. Let's let this fish go. Woo! That's a big one. Boom! Right off the shoreline. Pitching and twitching. Soft plastic jerk bait. Just the way I like it. Dang, that was fun. Awesome. Let's keep rolling. All right, dudes. I'm stoked on that fish, man. Flush. That flush smoke. Dude, that's the second bite on the day, and that was a tank. Nothing like cracking a nice four pounder for the first fish on a new bait to instill some confidence. Dude, yes. This flush heater, this flush heater. Woo! Woo woo! The flush catches me a whale. I was reeling that fish in. I was like, we got a, we got a flush, we got a whale. Was still. Still getting used to these new bait names. We got a whale on the flush. That's what's up. It'd be nice to get a whale on the whale out here, but shoot. I'm gonna keep throwing this thing. Too much fun. I'm throwing it on the Corrado 70 MGL, and this is the 7.2 medium heavy, moderate fast, Lux series rod. This is my uh, soft plastic jerk bait setup, my weightless fluke setup. Got it rigged up with the flush. Stuck me a monstro. Stuck me a monstro, old son. There's another one. This is an even bigger fish, guys. This fish is even bigger than that last one. Oh yeah. Come on up here. This is a nice one. Oh yeah, this is even bigger. This is a five. Should have got my net out, man. Look at that toad. It's a freaking tank. Come up here. Come up here. Come up here to me. Yeah, that's an even bigger fish. Look at that. Freaking tank. A freaking tank, dudes. Yes! Yes! Woo! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! The Flush 5.2 is a killer. Dang! That's a tank. Look at that fish, man. Even healthier and fatter than that last one. That's an easy four plus. Yes! Woo! Right there, guys. The new flush from Six Sense Fishing is not jacking around. It's, it's not jack a lacking around, old son. Woo! Man, what an awesome fish. That's a straight toad. Started a boat flip and then I was like, nah, I'm gonna reach down there and grab this one. She's stuck. She's not coming loose anyway. Boom that dudes look at that thing Woo! should have put that other one in the live well man 
we'd have two tanks to hold up but hey you guys are seeing it in action out here today man what an awesome trip that's two toads both on the flush right off the shoreline pitching and twitching just the way i like it with that new flush smoke man let's let this one go awesome what a tank of a fish what a freaking tank of a fish Woo! all right you ready fat girl here you go Awesome, dude. Awesome. Making my day out here. They're eating. The big ones are out eating today, man. Awesome. Man. That's just too cool, man. That's just too cool. For those of you who haven't seen the unboxings, I'll show you the new flush from Six Cents. I had a feeling this was going to be my color, man. This is the Threadfin Shad, the new flush 5.2 soft jerk bait perfectly balanced action proudly made in the usa stoked on that let's give me a freshie out of here i had a feeling about this color as soon as i saw it you guys might know why it resembles that disco biscuit that disco green one of my favorite colors in the fluke oh son look at that thing dude they're eating it they're eating it oh son what is going on here must have bumped the spot lock. My boat was drifting. I was like, wait a second. We're moving. I'll go ahead and show you guys how I'm rigging this thing up. Straight through the nose. It's about a little over an eighth of an inch. Almost a quarter of an inch. Right to where it starts to split. And I come out the bottom like that right there. Push it all the way up to the bend in the hook. This is a 4 aught EWG. You see this, uh, this bait? The top fin is actually split. I don't know how well you guys can see that on the GoPro but it's sectioned off there so i'm going to go ahead and come in right through the center with my hook point and it's going to sit right in between that top fin isn't that cool rigged perfectly and the action in the water on this thing is awesome and as you can see it gets some eating that's how i'm throwing it right there weightless pitching and twitching corrado 70 mgl lux series 72 medium heavy moderate fast 16 pound sunline sniper fc fluorocarbon boom let's go them big girls out here eating them big girls out here eating all sun today Yee. she freaking hammered it as soon as i saw her jump i was like oh man that's a bigger fish than that first one we caught what is going on what's the deal what a great way to make our triumphant return to the water right there on the point where she was supposed to be man these windblown points when it starts cooling down windblown main lake rocky points that drop off into deep water i always hit them i do really well on these types of spots especially in the winter time when it starts getting cold as you can see they will still crack off on a reaction bait another technique that i really love to throw in those types of spots is a deep dive and crankbait a medium to deep diver like a c6 or a c10 dude get down there on those rocky points clicking and clacking on the bottom it'll drive them nuts and you'll catch some tanks doing that that's where the big ones hang out you guys have seen it twice today those bigger fish are down there but they're cracking off on this new flush they can't resist it they can't resist the biscuit they haven't seen anything that looks like this they haven't seen anything that looks like this one got them fat girls eating all son Woo! i'm in a good mood i'm in a good mood in case you haven't noticed man you crack off a couple four pluses man rack up a little eight plus pound bag and two fish man that'll get your boy smiling stoked on that dude too much fun all right let's change it up a little bit two tanks on the flush i'm gonna move over here by this marina my idea is to slow roll this whale around i've got it rigged up on a five aught flashy swimmer owner hook that's the ghost ice minnow whale 4.5 the new soft plastic swim bait from six cents let's see if we can get bit on this thing checked out the action in the water a little bit it looks good i think the key to this thing is going to be the old slow roll just don't get in too much of a hurry let that tail do the work let that blade on that flashy swimmer shine and just uh creep it back to the boat 
It was looking really good. Maybe there'll be a fish hanging out around this marina. It wants to slurp this thing. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but this thing looks dang good in the water. It's got some nice kick to that tail. And it's got head wobble. It's got side to side head wobble and body roll that just looks epic. I know it's tough to see on that GoPro, but man, that thing just shakes and kicks. Rocking and knocking. Let's go. There was a turtle. There was a turtle chasing up to the boat just now and tried to eat it. What in the world? I mean, he was chasing it and I thought it was a fish. He came right up to the surface. That was nuts. Freaking turtle. Hope the camera caught that. There was one. There's a little fish came up and bumped it right in front of the boat. And he saw the trolling motor and yeeted. Got a turtle to bite it and a small little dink to bite it. Where's that fat girl? It's drawing them up, getting their attention. I just need one to fully commit, one that's big enough to eat it, and one that's not a turtle. Let's go. guys i didn't catch a lot of fish but i caught the right fish as you saw a couple straight tanks on the new flush from the six had a blast fishing that bait you guys know i've made it no secret that i absolutely love fishing a soft plastic jerk bait and this right here just might be my new favorite i mean the action in the water is amazing and it caught me the right kind of fish I was throwing the thread fin shad color. There's an up close look at that bait right there. You guys saw how I had it rigged up, how I was throwing it, weightless. The split in the dorsal fin is awesome. Got these side fins and man, it's just a little bit heavier than the fluke. So it gets subsurface just about perfect and runs right where I like my soft plastic jerk bait to run. Just slightly subsurface. This thing right here is a killer and as you saw, those big girls were eating it. We also got our first look at the whale while we were out there. Got to take a look at the action. Had a turtle try to eat it, had a dink try to eat it, but I didn't catch any monstros on the whale yet. Stay tuned because we're gonna keep putting that thing to work until we draw out the big bite. But for those of you that stuck around to the end of the video, we've got a little unboxing we're gonna get into right now. Let's check it out. I saw this bait on Tactical Bassin and I also saw my friend Baxter the Bait Man talk about this bait. It piqued my interest. So I wanted to place a little order, get some over here to add to the arsenal. And I know how you guys love the unboxing content. So let's crack into here, see what I went with. I'll show you guys this brand new to me bait. This is the Hog Farmer's Spunk Shad. Let's check it out. 3.5 inch, this is Blue Gizzard. And basically what it is, it's like a Kytex style bait without the paddle tail. As you can see, it just has that little dude on there. Oh, smells like black licorice. But as you can see, it just has that little straight tail on there. A couple little ridges, give it a little bit of bulk and a little bit of weight to give it that action. Ribbed body, bait fish style, shaped like a little minnow. And that right there, just, man, I saw a video of this thing working. That action down there under the water, especially in the cold weather months when the water cools down, I think that's just gonna be deadly. On the back of a chatterbait, hopping this around down there on the bottom, like on a Ned head or a small ball head is gonna be just killer. And that's the 3.5 blue gizzard color. Went really natural. Also got 
blue gizzard. Looks like I got both blue gizzard. So I went really natural. I thought I had two different colors, but they're both the same. That's the new to me Smunk Shad from Hog Farmers. Had to try it, had to have it. Hog Farmer Bait Company, Smunk Shad, Blue Gizzard 3.5. And that's it, that's all that was in that unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Had a blast out there throwing the flush for the first time. This thing right here is a killer and it may just be my new favorite soft plastic bait. We'll have to keep putting it to the test, but first impressions, extremely satisfied. Extremely happy with this. And the colors, no surprise, the six cents colors, tough to beat, man. That's a killer bait fish imitation. It's gonna stay tied on, well, from now on probably. I absolutely loved it, extremely satisfied. You guys saw the caliber of fish we were catching out there. I think those fish might've been a little bit bigger even than the weights I was calling out, but I never like to overshoot myself. Either way, those were some tanks. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you're interested in scooping yourself up some flushes or maybe the new whale soft plastic swim bait from Six Sense Fishing, check out sixcentsfishing.com and use my code JR10 at checkout. That's gonna give you 10% off all the new baits in your entire order, as a matter of fact. I wanna give a shout out to everybody who's been using my code lately and sending me their screenshots over on Instagram. Anyone who uses my code gets a shout out on my story. So if you happen to use that JR10 for the win, take a screenshot of your order confirmation, send me a DM over on the gram and I'll give you a shout out. Just a way for me to say thank you and give you guys some public recognition for helping us keep the lights on and the cameras rolling over here. Here. It's one of the best ways that you can support the channel, save yourself a little bit of money, and enable us to continue to make free fishing content for you over here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my videos, but that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll see you on the next one. <music>